Now, everything we've, we've touched on thus far is you as a player. What that means is the game is a constant, right? So you have certain decisions that can be made. You have certain payoffs that, that you think will, will come of, of your actions or decisions or that of other players, um, but you cannot fundamentally change the game. Now, that's the thing about life. That's the beautiful thing about life. That's the beautiful thing about running your own business, right? About being in your own relationship with someone or, you know, whatever it may be in, in whatever context. And that is you can change the game. You can affect the game. Now, game theory is just one side of the coin. Game theory is where you, you're, you're studying decision making. You're studying strategy given games as constants. Now, mechanism design and here I'll write that down, is the other side of the coin. And that is taking behavior as a constant, taking rationality as a constant, and then designing games to get certain outcomes. Uh, so an example there would be, you know, let's say we're a company and we know that our customers want to make money and don't want to put effort into making money, right? That's kind of like the, the scales there. Uh, you could ask the question of how do we design a rewards or incentive program that maximizes the amount of customers that are going to use it. In that sense, behavior is a constant. Uh, the pool of potential customers, let's say, is a constant. It's just a question of how do we design the game itself? How do we design the decisions that can be made? Um, how can we set the payoffs and, and so on? Um, so the beautiful thing about that is that if you apply mechanism design to your life, if you become the game maker, then you can, in an academic sense, on paper, just you can design your life to get a certain outcome. Given that, for example, you know that, let's say you want to be healthy, uh, you want to spend time with your family, you want to travel, and you want to make good money doing things you enjoy whether that's a billion dollars or a hundred thousand a year, whatever it may be. Uh, you now know the payoffs. You know what you want, you know what you don't want. And, and not in a literal sense, but you, you have some, uh, you know, ordinal ranking there in a sense. Well, now how can you design your life to bring about those outcomes? Uh, and that's what every business guru is telling you to do in, in one sense or another. They're telling you to do a uh, a, a wake up, a, a morning routine. They're telling you to, to do X, Y, and Z in your business, to use these SOPs or, or whatever it may be. Those are all fundamentally structures that affect the game that is your life to theoretically change the outcome. That as in they should, if they work, will, will change the outcome of the game. Um, one, one useful thought there as well is that if we think of decisions as uh, if we think of ourselves, decision-making wise, as, as constants, that makes designing a game a lot easier. Uh, for example, it, it's very hard to go against your natural will. Uh, so let's say we want to wake up, uh, let's say we want to put four hours of extra work in the day. Um, there's, a few things, there's a few things we could do there. One of which is, okay, I want to work more. Uh, I'm going to force myself to do it through pure force of will. I'm just going to find time and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it done. Right. If you do something like that, you're now going against you as a player. You're doing something that will bring you pain, bring you suffering, that you haven't structurally altered things to do. You're probably going to fail. Same thing with uh, New Year's resolutions and, and people who go to the gym. Right. They say they're going to go to the gym. They just say, OK, I'm going to do it. I bought my membership. And then they don't structurally change anything to bring about the outcome that they want. And so they will fail. Now, if you take your, if you assume that you are lazy, that you will default to your system, to the game, to the decisions that are presented to you, to what will bring you less suffering, then it's just about designing the game. Then it's just about, okay, how can I change things so that I, as a player, will make the best decision available to me and that best decision will bring about the best outcome or the outcome that I want. An example there is, uh, let's say going back to work. If you go to an apartment in a new city. Let's say you get it, you, you move cities, you call your family once a week, you don't see them in person anymore, you don't really have any friends, you're just in this apartment, right? And you have your computer, you have good Wi-Fi, you don't have much else. What are you gonna end up doing? You're gonna end up putting 10 hours, 12 hours a day into work. And over time, that will probably 
change how you how you view things that will probably change what brings you purpose and joy in your life because now the game becomes okay I'm in my I'm in this apartment there's really nothing else going on all I have is my computer and I have progress to make on whatever I'm trying to work on like let's say you want to write a book you guess you need to write a hundred thousand words uh, as opposed to just forcing yourself to write the hundred thousand words you've done that you structurally changed the game you put yourself in a new place you've removed a lot of the other decisions that you could have made for example um, going out today with friends uh, or just uh, let's say you used to live in a nice house right like let's say I could go and I could watch a movie on the couch now you live in a one bedroom you can't do that you have no friends you can't go out all you can do is say write your book but over time writing the book then becomes enjoyable because your brain has nothing else to focus on all you can do is continue to improve at writing the book and researching and uh, researching and so on now what's going to happen there is you will ultimately write the book. You will write it much faster and you will write a better book than you would otherwise. Um, that doesn't say that's, that those can come without costs, right? You saw your friends less, you didn't do anything you would prior have, uh, to the, have considered as fun, but you did get the book done. So that's an example of I'm drastically changing the structure of the game to bring about an outcome that I want with, with that being writing the book. Uh, in a pragmatic sense, maybe that's not what you want. But all of this is just based on what you want. If you really want to spend time with your family, if, if you want to go out all the time, if you want to party, well, change the game to bring about that outcome. Structurally change your life, change the decisions you can make. Uh, and ultimately, that will put you in such a better <laughs> just frame of mind and also just ultimately better outcome uh, versus the inverse, which is, okay, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try this. You're not really thinking about how you actually try things, how you approach trying things, and, and so 